Hello everyone, Roy Kirchhoffs here. I just finished coloring this piece. This is a 12 by 24 inch black and white photo of the shack at Wind and Sea Beach in La Jolla, California. Um, I colored it with Marshall Photo Oils and I hope you will stick around to see how I did that. So let's start with brown sienna for the foreground here. Grab a cotton round. As you can see, you don't need a lot of paint, and these tubes last for a very long time. So gently rub the paint that's on the cotton round onto the photo paper. I'm not not pushing very hard. And I like to add it in, at a certain thickness, pretty thick. There's a lot of color here. And then what I do later is I like remove paint by going over with a, a clean cotton round and get the, the intensity as I want it later on. So I'm not bothering now putting it on at certain thicknesses. I believe that's still beach over there or rocks of some kind. Okay, so that went pretty fast. And what we can do too, like in the back here. Here I, I do want to put it already pretty light because I mean, it's far away and I don't want it very intense here. Here I can still have, choose how I want it. We'll probably add some greens here. This house is back here. I'm also going to add blue to the sky. Maybe like this. And then on the shack. Add that same brown sienna. There we go. All right, that I like away the way it, I like it already the way it is. So now let's tone this down a little bit, especially in very bright areas. It looks better if you don't put on too much color. We are going for a more or less realistic look here. And of course, you don't necessarily have to do that. Let's grab a clean one. So we'll make it have some variation here. So. A lot less color here, 
a little bit more right underneath the shack a little bit more on the foreground maybe a little less here okay it's looking pretty good let's remove it here a little bit on the ocean yeah i like the way this looks now all right so let's do the ocean let's see I just bought a new tube of chinese blue let's use that Oh my god. Okay. Guess that's the problem with new tubes. My last video I thought I recorded my green got punctured, so it got all over. And now this one probably wanna store this. That's a lot of paint. Anyway. Let's grab some. And same thing, we we'll just go on. Oh look, there's this pole. So, a little bit about this pole. Oh, and the others, I didn't call those either. So this is the, was the fourth shack at Wind and Sea in La Jolla, California. And that one already also got destroyed as the fifth is, has been built now. Um, so I think in the 40s is when the first one was built. And then several, every decade, every several decades, they build a new one because it gets destroyed by a storm. Um, so this was the fourth shack. And this pole here is a remnant of the third one. And I will still color the poles with a with a Q-tip and the burnt sienna. So you have to be careful getting close to these rocks here. I don't want to mix the colors here. And a little bit in the back here. We'll add a different blue here later. And I'll just go over the pole here for now. Under the shack. Very carefully. And you can see it's staying, well this I can still do. I'm trying to stay away from the shack and the rocks. And then we'll grab Q-tip, pick up some of that blue, and then add this here, this blue here with a Q-tip. So we have a little bit more control. I can see you can still add some blue here too. And then before I add some color to the poles, let's smooth out the ocean first. Get rid of some of those brush strokes. So I'm not pushing very hard, very lightly. You can see I pick up some paint. So 
So this way you're able to get a very uniform look. Just like that. Very light. Okay. So now clean cotton round. Yeah, sorry. Clean Q-tip. Cotton swab. I see I missed a spot here on the shack and then we'll add it also to these poles. Excess paint here. Okay, a little bit here. Oops. There. All right. Let's move on to the next color now. Which let's do the sky, big surface. Turn this around. We'll use sky blue for that. Clean cotton round. Got the blue, and there we go. And you can see we can just go over, because it's so transparent, we can just go over the trees in the back here. Maybe a little more in the corners here. To kind of simulate that a vignette effect. Almost done. Still also want to smooth out the sky with a clean cotton round. Okay, very good. I think I put it more I put more color over there than here. So let's like add a little bit more here. And especially towards the top, so we kinda get a gradient of dark blues to lighter blues. So again, let's grab a clean one. And now we're making very, very subtle light circles, not pushing very hard. 
to smooth out the sky. So we get a more uniform look. We go left and right. Okay, now we're pushing harder. Taking the clean, another clean side now. And now I'm pushing again. Oops. Harder towards the horizon. And then less pressure as we go towards the top of the photo. So this introduces that light blue to darker blue gradient. Maybe a little more down here. Remove more, I mean. Okay. That's it. Let's turn this back around. Now we have a nice colorful image. I still would like to add some greens back here. So I'll grab my green. Which broke, so it's coming out of the side now. That should be enough. Another clean cotton round, pick up some of that green and add it here. This is fresh new paint, very liquid. Of course, you can see there's too much now, but I'm gonna also remove some of that paint. And I think that's good. I didn't need it anywhere else, I think. Because these are more like silhouettes. I don't think it will look good if you add green to that. So I'm taking the clean side now. And I'll gently remove some of that paint, making, making it less intense. Very subtle green. Like that. Okay, that is what I'm going for. Okay, and now I could stop here, but I would still like to add a tad of carmine to the roofs. First I need to clean up a little bit of that blue here. Okay, and then with the other side of the cotton swap we'll add some of that carmine. Again, don't worry, this is too much, but we'll fix that. I want this also to be very subtle. And then remove some of the blue here. Okay, let's grab let's grab another clean cotton round, and then carefully dab on the color that we just added. Make it a lot more subtle. That looks a lot better already.
There we go. Very pleasant light red pink in the distance. So now I'm very happy with the image. No, I'm not. I can, I can see there's breaking waves here. And I want to remove that blue from those. Okay, now I am happy. So here we are again with the finished piece. So I hope you liked the video. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.